Hello, my name is Evan Creswell, and I'm a Reed graduate student here in the Department of Scientific Computing, and today I'm going to talk about my research in the compartmentalization of astrocytes. Astrocytes are a type of glia cell most known for providing metabolic support in the brain. Also recently, they have been associated with neural communication, or how neurons interact, which is a fundamental principle of higher cognition. Astrocytes carry out most of their operation th through changes in concentration of intracellular calcium. They can affect multiple cells, and recent advances in calcium imaging have shown that individual astrocytes can display different levels of calcium within the cell itself. To understand the role of this heterogeneity in astrocytes, I have developed a model to simulate the calcium levels within the astrocyte. Astrocytic calcium has been modeled in a variety of different ways. These models can range from bo in both realism and computational efficiency. On one hand, you have ordinary differential equations, which assume the calcium is well mixed within the cell and can therefore be represented by a single value. While these models are computationally very efficient, they lack biological realism. On the other hand, you have partial differential equations, which represent the calcium in space and therefore are more biologically realistic, but computationally inefficient. My goal is to find an in-between. I accomplish this by dividing the astrocyte into different regions such as the cell body and branches, or processes which are connected directly to neural activity. I represent different regions with systems of ordinary differential equations, so while it's computationally inefficient, it maintains some biological realism. This compartmentalization leads to a simple yet accurate model. Given this model, I can consider several questions about the calcium dynamics inside the astrocyte. For instance, does information only travel from the branches of the astrocyte to the soma, or does the soma in turn affect the branches? I would like to consider what kind of act activity you need in astrocyte, astrocytic branches to elicit a response in the soma. I hope this presentation has been both instructive and intriguing. Thank you, and have a good day.